As we enter the summer season, El Paso Electric is preparing for potential outages during this hot weather. KTSM 9 News reporter Bree Lockhart is live in West El Paso. She spoke with EPE to explain what we can do to prevent these outages. Bree. Right, as one would expect, during the summer months, more energy is being used, and that's why people cooling off their homes and their places of work. But using this much energy can actually cause power outages, power outages across the city. But this is what El Paso Electric prepares for. Omar Gallegos with El Paso Electric says weather is the largest cause of outages, and because of this, they start to prepare during the fall. We begin working on our operational maintenance and outages for our generation units and our transmission and distribution projects. Every year, EPE updates their load forecast to predict how much energy they believe will be used during the summer, but there are ways we can conserve energy. Um, they can do many different things from energy efficiency uh, programs that El Paso Electric offers, and also just through this summer, uh, minimizing the use of electrical appliances during the peak hours. For example, Gallego says even when using the oven, that can take up a lot of the refrigerated air, which uses the most energy during the next couple of months. Gallego also says to avoid additional power outages, deflate those graduation balloons and make sure they are secured so that they don't get stuck in power lines. Last year we had about 70 outages that were attributable to Mylar balloons. The best way to avoid these outages this summer is tie up those balloons and make sure you are aware of how much your appliances energy is consuming. Bree, some pretty good tips there. Uh, did El Paso Electric say anything about any transformers that have had to been replaced in the past year to prepare for this summer? Yeah, so they have already replaced some of the transformers, and they said they actually keep extra inventory during this time just in case something does happen that is unforeseeable. Back to you, Natasha. All right, Bree Lockhart reporting live for us from West El Paso this evening. Bree, thank you so much.